So the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 is one of the better Samsung Galaxy watches they've ever made. And I definitely do think it's an interesting device to talk about. Is it still worth buying in the later part of 2023? A few things to keep in mind though, there have been some moving parts with this watch already. The big thing is, is that we did get the Galaxy Watch 6, the one of the successors to this watch, but I still think the Watch you know, 5 is still probably the better one here. But the Watch 4 is still a decent watch when it comes down to it, which is pretty crazy. So if you want to pick it up, links will be down in the description. You can get it from there. You can help support the channel at the same time. On the outside of the Watch 4, we all know, comes out in two different sizes, the 40 and 44, the 40 and 44 millimeter size, which I think is very cool. It's a very good sized watch, and I definitely do think this is one of the better sized watches that you know Samsung has made. And I definitely do think the displays on these watches are very solid. I think Samsung knocked it out of the park when they've ever made any of their displays, especially when they switched to the OLED ones, and these ones look very, very good. You're getting the two buttons on the side, the wireless charging pad on the outside, on the back side, and don't forget, you can actually still wirelessly charge these devices from your Android phone if you have a Samsung Galaxy. One of the coolest things they throw in here, I still think about that, and I still think that's easily one of the best things Samsung's done. It gets a thumbs up from me for sure from that perspective, and like I said, it's a beautiful thing that they've done here, and I'm so happy that they still throw in, you know, the wireless charging, reverse wireless charging from our Samsung Galaxies. Now, the bands, I think they still need a little bit of work, like I still think they're not the best bands out there, at least the stock ones that you take, but you can always go through and you can always buy you know the newer more expensive ones you always have the options of doing that which is very very cool but with these ones it's still a very good band it's still a very good band selection you can choose from so i think that's also a very very you know decent thing that you have from that perspective as well now beyond that i would still say the software updates on these watches are still very good you're still getting long supported watches here which is very good you can pick up this watch today and still have a very long supported watch for the most part, at least for a couple of years. Of course, this thing's not going to last forever, but it's still going to be here for a couple of years. And I think for the average person out there, you're going to be in very good hands. Is it going to be perfect? No, there's still going to be some software issues and software problems that happen here and there. But I would probably tell you that for the average person, you're going to be, you know, having a good experience with this type of watch, which is exactly what you probably want. So from that perspective alone too, thumbs up for me. Now compatibility, the Galaxy Watch 4 is still supported on so many different Android phones. You can wear it and you know, you can rock it by itself actually if you have the LTE model. Or what you can always do is you can just, you know, connect it to your actual, you know, Samsung Galaxy, you know, phone. Majority of them are supported. If it's still not supported, you can probably find a way to kind of connect them. It's supported on the Google Pixels as well and mostly every other Android phone out there. So you have so many different devices you can actually choose from, which again is actually super, super awesome. Now, beyond that, I'm trying to think what else we can kind of talk about here. I think the performance side, I think it's still a very decent performing, you know, Samsung Galaxy Watch. Again, it's not perfect. There's always going to be little tiny issues and problems that you're going to be having. But like I said, I think for the average person, no matter what you're going to do, the feature set behind this watch, I mean, there's so many features. I don't even use all my features on most of my smart watches that I have. All I'm doing is checking the, you know, how many steps I'm taking, maybe like some notifications here and there. And the Galaxy Watch can do that and then some. So what I'll tell you is, even though we have the successors to the Galaxy Watch 4, I still think it's completely worth buying. And I think Samsung did a really good job when it first came out. And I still would tell you, it's a very good watch to buy. It's not perfect, but I think Samsung did a good job and I still think it's completely worth buying for sure. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. The like button helped me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.